The story of the Georgia Guidestones began in June of 1979, when a stranger, identified as Mr. Christian, visited the president of Elberton Granite Finishing Company and indicated that he represented a group of loyal Americans living outside the state of Georgia who wanted to build a monument focused on the theme of conservation. Mr. Christian named Wyatt C. Martin, president of the Granite City Bank, as intermediary to hold funds and escrow for the project. Explaining that the Godstones group, which wished to remain anonymous forever, had selected Georgia because of its excellent granite, mild climate, and the heritage of his great-grandmother as a native Georgian. Christian agreed to Martin's request to locate the monument in Elbert County if there was a suitable remote site for it, which they found on a hillside that is the highest point in Elbert County, on the farm of Mildred and Wayne Mullinix, north of Elberton on Highway 77. Joe Finley's company carved the six-part monument from pyramid blue granite. The Georgia Guidestones consist of four granite megaliths set in a paddle wheel arrangement around a central stone which is surmounted by a flat capstone. Measuring 19 and a fourth feet in height at the highest peak, the stone group measures 17 and a third feet in width and its diameter is 65 feet. The overall weight of the 951 cubic feet of granite used is 237,746 pounds. The ground marker west of the Guidestones provides additional data and covers a buried time capsule. Each of the four sides of the capsule features the statement of cautionary guidance to humankind, translated in Babylonian cuneiform, classical Greek, Sanskrit, and Egyptian hieroglyphs. Let these be Godstones to an age of reason. Below, the Godstones are carved into eight faces of the four outer stones in English, Spanish, Swahili, Hindi, Hebrew, Arabic, Chinese, and Russian. The message reads, Number one, maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. Number two, guide reproduction wisely, improving fitness and diversity. Number three, unite humanity with a living new language. Number four, rule passion, faith, tradition, and all things with tempered reason. Number five, protect people and nations with fair laws and just courts. Number six, let all nations rule internally, resolving external disputes in a world court. Number seven, avoid petty laws and useless officials. Number eight, balance personal rights with social duties. Number nine, prize truth, beauty, love, seeking harmony with the infinite. Number 10, be not a cancer on the earth. Leave room for nature. Leave room for nature.